hello 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 Aries welcome to the good witch this is your September through October intuitive tarot reading welcome welcome to all my new people welcome back to my loves my darlings my ones I appreciate you so much please remember to like share subscribe and comment Aries, we are going to look at your love, your finances, and a message from the divine. When I was shuffling your cards, um, it feels like you're at a crossroads in a couple of areas. You're at a crossroads in a couple of areas, and some of you have someone in your life who is trying to love you and you won't let them. Let them love you. You're worthy. Let them love you. Let's look at your love life. You're at a crossroads in multiple areas of your life. You're changing. This last quarter of the year is going to be drastic for you, Aries. You're changing. The way people see you is changing. The way you, st the way you interact with people is changing. Hell, some of you, your circles may be changing. You're walking into a whole new energy system when it comes to your life. Let's look at your love for September through October. You have the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Moon card. So you, you're very passionate. You have someone in your life that you're very passionate about. Um, but you have a lot of outside interference. You have a lot of emotional baggage that you're still holding on to. Maybe that's why you won't let this person that wants to love you, love you. Some of you said, no, it's just because I'm not attracted to them. Well, if that's the case, then that's not the one. But what are you attracted to? You need to look at yourself and see what you're attracted to and if that's truly a healthy attraction. That's a struggle, but it's a, but it's true. Um, there's someone who wants to sit by you and be by your side, almost like a pet. I know it sounds bad, but they're loyal to you. And you have all this outside interference. People are trying to get at you and people are trying to get at them. Even if y'all aren't in a real relationship, y'all are just friends or y'all used to be in a relationship, but y'all broke up, but y'all try to get back together here and there, whatever the case may be. But the emotions that tie you together are so strong. You feel so strongly about this person that when you try to cut them off, you have nightmares. There's just something about them that you just can't let go. And they're coming in and they're offering you emotions this month. They're offering you all of their emotions, but what they're not offering you is, um, for those of you that are in third party situations, they're not offering you a way out of the third party situation. but they are very passionate, very emotional about you. They have someone else in their life who is depending on them for one reason or another that they don't wanna let go of because they feel like you benefit from it. They feel like you benefit from whatever it is that they're doing. Now, if that's not you, and that's not your situation. Well, I'm, there is nothing telling me to do pull a second group. So that's what I pulled. Hopefully, even so you do understand that a third party situation doesn't mean they're out sleeping with somebody else all the time. A third party situation can simply be um, an overbearing mother. Um, and 
adult child that gets in the way of the relationship. A best friend, an ex, just somebody that they feel like they have to split their energy between. But right now they feel like they're doing it for your benefit because you may not like who they are without them. Cross watchers. Okay. Cross watchers. The Aries feels like they can have a successful relationship with you. They know you love them. But they don't feel like they can create with you. Because you don't listen. Which, in their case, may mean you don't do what they say. But they do love you and they do know you love them. So this is definitely a relationship that can be started or that can be worked out. And for those of you who are not talking to anyone or not in a relationship that are single with like no foreseeable options, there is um, a Gemini, another Aries, or a Pisces that is going to come into your life within the next two months. They'll be approaching you in the most unorthodox way. And they're sneaky. They're fun. But they're sneaky. Okay? So enjoy it. It may last. I was going to say enjoy it while it lasts, but it may last. But remember that they're sneaky. They're not going to give you the whole truth, the whole story right off the bat. They will over time, potentially, if they like you enough or if you like them enough or give them the opportunity to. Let's look at your finances. The Five of Swords, the Priestess, and the Eight of Wands. So, some of you may be giving a lot this month and you feel like you overgive because you are. Your, your finances are slightly off balance this month. Money is coming to you quickly, but it all, it's also leaving quickly. You're getting a lot of money, but you're spending a lot of money this month. Somewhat unnecessarily so. It's like, let's say you have $1,500. That's a lot of money. You have $1,500. Your bills are $500. You pay your bills. Then you got a sister, a friend, and a cousin that I'll ask you to borrow $500. Yeah, so they just asked you to borrow $1,500. Your bills are $500. How much of that do you need to spend? Hmm? $500 and you need to have $1,000 left over? Say no. Say no. Mm -mm. Say you can't. That's not something you're willing to invest in right now. You have things to do. You have to take care of your bills. No. That's what you're going to have to say this month. No. Mm -mm. Unless it's to that loyal person that's been standing by your side through everything. And they probably won't ask you for anything because they want to see you succeed and they want to see you grow. The answer is N-O. No. Or you could say yes and not pay your bills and give them your money and then be stressed out. So, but be mindful of your money this month. Watch the Uber Eats favor, the going out for drinks. Watch all of that because you're spending so much money. It's just slipping through your fingers. Okay? Now, 
let's look at a message from the divine. Oh, wait, your finances. Is there anything else? I see you being very emotional about your money. Trying to create new beginnings. Now isn't the time for you to start some new venture. Now, right now. Maybe before the end of 2020, now you should be in the planning phases when it comes to that. You were in the planning phases, I want to say last month or the month before. So now you're finalizing all of your plans, your ideas, and you're going to go about it in a smart way and not a haphazard way to where it's just going to slip through your fingers again, okay? Put on gloves. Baseball mitts. Catch the money. Okay. Message from the divine. Someone sees the best in you. Because as I got ready to flip over your cards, which are the Six of Swords, the Prince of Swords, and the Six of Cups, I was hearing, he saw the best in me when everyone else around could only see the worst in me. And what did he see? So you're looking at the visible, tangible facts of everything and you're attempting to settle. You're better than the settle, okay? You're going to have to cut off some mindsets. There's some things that you've done that you're going to have to forgive yourself for. There's some bridges that you've crossed that you never want to cross again. So just untie the ropes and let it go. Let it go. There's some things that you're going to have to forgive yourself for. You're going through this beautiful transformation and you're going to have to forgive yourself and you're going to have to accept your new mindsets. Understand that who you were is not who you have to keep being. Understand that who you are today is not who you have to be tomorrow, okay? You can grow. People have tried to put you in a box and tell you that you can't grow, that you have to be this certain way because that's the way you've always been. Screw them. Screw them. Like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. But screw them. And some of them are saying it in love. It's not that they don't love you or they despise you. They just lack the knowledge. They lack the insight. But you can't stop or stunt your growth for the benefit of others. Just like you can't let your household go and not taken care of so that you can take care of Tom, Dick, and Harry's, okay? It's time for you to start being a little bit more selfish. Knowing that you are worthy. Super more than worthy. Starting to expect the good things. Expect that good things are coming for you. Because they are. Okay? Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, and love. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of yours. Peace, love, and light from The Good Witch.